Hey folks, this is UTB Brad with UTB Blogs, and I have a new addition to my Alexa family. Tablets are not a necessity. There was a time, and it was back about the time that I got my first uh, BlackBerry Playbook, that I thought the tablets were the future. I thought that tablets would be what we were all carrying around with us and they would bump off smartphones and it would bump off laptops. That never happened. Instead, tablets are just kind of a niche device. They're fun to have, they're handy to have. Nobody really needs them, but I still want them. At the same time, I'm not really willing to spend a bunch of money on a tablet. Tablets rarely get updated. They're rarely supported. It's more of a case of really a disposable electronics device, which is why a cheap tablet is a really good way to go. Now, Amazon offers a lot of affordable tablets out there. We're talking hyper cheap tablets in terms of your cost because that's not really where they're making the money. They're making the money hoping that you use their services. You know, you get that tablet in your hands and you're gonna run off to Amazon and you're gonna buy a bunch of merchandise. That is their method of making money, and it works out well for those of us that like Amazon's products. Personally, I am a big fan of Amazon's products. I'm a big fan of Alexa. Right now, I own an Amazon Dot, an Amazon Tap, an Amazon Fire TV, and I know before you say it, there's gonna be a lot of BlackBerry users out there concerned about the privacy aspect of it. I completely understand that. You have ears in your home that's listening to you. I know the risks that are involved in that and I feel safe with it. I've discussed it a lot of times where I think I'm relatively knowledgeable about where that information is going and where that information can end up and if somebody ends up hacking it, what can happen to it in the long run, which is why I am conservative about what I share with the various products, be it Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant or even on BlackBerry 10, the old assistant. Anything that I'm sharing with my voice assistant products, I'm comfortable with that information making it out somewhere. I don't care if somebody wants to know that I wanted directions to this place or that I wanted to know what time a TV show was coming on or what the weather was like today. Saying all that, I got a new tablet today. I got the Amazon Fire HD 8-inch tablet. Now, it's been a while since I've really had a tablet that I used, and a tablet's a nice thing. I enjoy tablets. And as I said, I'm a really big fan of Amazon Alexa. With this year's model of the Fire HD tablet, there is a certain feature that comes with it that I really wasn't aware of, and once I found out about it, it turns this into a must-have product for me. So let's get this opened up, powered on, and I'll show you what that feature is. A very basic tablet. If we look, we've got a camera right up top here, a camera in back. I'll talk about those cameras in a few minutes here. Uh, it's got a very plastic feeling back. It doesn't feel bad in the hands at all. It feels like a cheaper BlackBerry Playbook. You have the little door for the micro SD card here. Power and volume. And look, even a headphone jack. Dual speakers. They've got the Dolby sound on here and nothing on the bottom. So let me go get this powered up, let me get it set up with my account, and I will be back to show you the killer feature that makes this tablet a must have. Okay, so I'm back. I have set up my new tablet, and it went really quick. You power it up, it immediately downloaded an update, and sign in, and I'm ready to go. So the thing about Amazon tablets are they are really set up to use Amazon services. You have your Amazon Prime, you have your Amazon Music, you have your Kindle, 
all the various services that Amazon offers are right there at your fingertips and that's really the whole point of these tablets. If you are a Prime member, it comes in handy. You've got your videos, you've got your music, you've got everything right at the tips of your fingers. If you're not a Prime user, it can be a little iffy. I'm not really sure if you would get a full tablet experience from an Amazon tablet without the Prime. I don't really look at the Amazon tablets as a your typical Android experience because it's really not. It runs its own Fire OS that's built on top of Android. Plus the fact that Google and Amazon just can't get along and they keep screwing with each other. But what you do get is an excellent Amazon Prime experience. So a quick rundown of the specs on this tablet. This is the 8 inch Fire HD tablet. It comes with a 1280 by 800 resolution display. It's not the best display out there. You're not going to get the best display out there with a product this inexpensive. It has 189 PPI and it shows. I, I, it's fine for what it's used for. If you're looking for the best tablet screen out there, you're not going to get it. And you're getting exactly what you would expect for this price point. No. I'm going to say you're getting better than what you would expect for this price point. This has a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. By no means is that a powerhouse. It works well for what it's intended to, and it seems to be kind of snappy for those specs. The screen out of the box is really dim and really dull. I like bright screens and I immediately turn that up. I'm sure that'll have some effect on battery, but it looks great. You know, it is an HD screen and it looks much better than I thought it was going to look when I initially took it out of the box. As far as construction, it does have a plastic fill to it, but it feels sturdy. It feels solid. And if you want to jump on to YouTube and search out people doing the tests of how sturdy it is, you will find that these can take a lot of abuse. Now the one I got, it comes with 16 gigabytes of storage. You can also get it with 32 gigabytes of storage. Uh, both come with an SD card slot, so storage is not going to be an issue. As far as the price, right now I believe it's going for about $54, $55. These go on sale all the time. This was actually a, a Prime Day special here. and Amazon is always putting their products on sale. Now, as I mentioned, it's got Alexa on board now, which has been there for a while. When Alexa first came onto the tablets, you had to push a button, an on-screen button, in order to speak to Alexa. That's not the case anymore. Now she is always ready, always available. Let's run through just a few of the things that you can do. Alexa, open Kindle. Here are your Kindle books. So you can see I'm not much of a reader, not yet anyway. I do have one book in my Kindle. There we go, American Revenant by John L. Davis. Give him a shout out. I can jump over to my music. Alexa, play my prime music. Here's a station you might like. Prime Rock from Amazon Music. When the days are... So before we run into any sort of copyright restrictions, you can see how it shows up here. It plays the music. It's got the two dual speakers up top with the Dolby sound. Not the best listening experience, although it does have the headphone jack. You can plug in a separate speaker if you like, and different than what you're used to on your regular Alexa products, it pops up the screen, Oops. and you can see the lyrics. It's just a really nice experience on your Amazon Music. Alexa, play Animal Kingdom on Prime. Here's what I found. So you can see you can go into your Prime video and pull up different movies. You can play it straight from there. And you can resume where you left off. You can play it on your Fire Stick TV, which I have, and do it that way. Here we go. If I just do that, and then it starts playing the video. Also with Amazon Prime Video, you can get your HBO, you can get your Showtime, all the various videos 
services you want, the paid content, you can just add those to your channels. But how about the fun stuff? That's what we're more interested in, right? Talking to Alexa. You've got the full featured Alexa here. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you get when you combine Star Wars with baseball? The umpire strikes out. Alexa, how are you today? I'm really good. I love these longer days. They make me want to sing a summer song. Alexa, can you rap? Connect sync link. All the pieces of your life I Get it done at the speed of Wi-Fi. I'm the player, the coach, the arena, and the game. If you want something done, you just gotta say my name. So Alexa doesn't really have a future in rap. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Oh, I'm sure. Now Alexa's always been an audio type product. You speak to it, it speaks to you back. When they came out with the Fire TV with Alexa, then they started having visual cues to it. They had screens that would pop up on your TV as you talk to Alexa. Later on, they came out with the Echo Show, a bigger, bulkier product. You'd sit it on your countertop, it's got a screen on it, you would see all of those items that you're used to seeing on your Fire TV. It also brought the ability to have video chat, speaking back and forth with other people through that product. After that, they came out with the Echo Spot, which is a smaller product looking more like an alarm clock, a round screen, really cute little product, and it does everything that the Echo Show does, just in a much smaller format. But with the latest update to these Fire tablets, on the 8-inch and the 10-inch, not the 7-inch, it brings the Echo Show to the tablet. Alexa, switch to show mode. And there you have it. You are now in an Echo Show on your tablet. With the 8-inch tablet that I have, it needs to be plugged in in order for this to work, and it does everything just like you would expect. You can see that I had contacted my father on his Alexa earlier, and we had a conversation. So now when you ask her for items, it shows you something as well. So you can say, Alexa, what's the weather today? In Exeter, it's 98 degrees Fahrenheit with intermittent clouds. Tonight, you can look for mostly clear skies with a low of 72 degrees. Alexa, play my flash briefing. Here's your flash briefing. In Fox News. Looking for answers. Alexa, skip. In today's CNET Tech Today update. Alexa, stop. Now, Amazon's brought the show mode to the tablets, which brings really all of the Echo Show into this small, cheap tablet. Uh, you know, you can pay over $200 for something that you set on your countertop and it stays there and it does all of those great show items. Or you can go out and spend $50 for a tablet, plug it in, have it set up, use it as a show, and when you want to hit the road, it goes with you. Now, Amazon does offer a base. It's the show base. I forget what exactly what it's called but for these tablets that it really is just a stand for the tablet that has a plug-in feature. And when you set the tablet on the stand, it operates as a show. And then you can take it with you when you leave. But you don't need that tablet stand in order for these $50 tablets to run as the show. So if you like Alexa, if you are a Prime member, if you like the idea of watching Prime Video in your hands and taking it with you. If you like the idea of having your Amazon Prime Music pop up with visuals and not just the music, this is a good tablet to have. I'm very deep in the Amazon ecosystem and I think this right now is definitely and by far my best Alexa product. I will post links to the various Alexa products with this video in case you want to run out and get one yourself. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you would enjoy? 
This has been UTB Brad with UTB Blogs with my all new toy, the Amazon Fire HD 8 inch tablet with show mode that I'm going to go and play with now. We'll see you next time.